Where would we be without hydrography? As we celebrate World Hydrography Day on June 21st, it's important to recognize the significance of hydrography to our history, to the oceans, to our coastal communities and ecosystems, and to the U.S. economy. It's an economy that relies on ocean transportation to get products and people where they need to go every day. We also need to recognize the contribution of hydrographers around the world and here in the U.S. who push advancements of their science as new challenges emerge. Since the 6th or 7th century BC, cartographers have used hydrographic measurements to make nautical charts. Back in the 16th century, charts showed the location of ghoulish monsters ready to devour complete vessels. Today, we search for our own monsters undiscovered underwater seamounts and dangerous rocks, shifting shoals, debris from storms and hurricanes, and any other danger to commercial and recreational mariners. President Thomas Jefferson established the Survey of the Coast in 1807 because our fledgling nation was losing more ships to poor nautical charts than to war. Maritime trade was everything in those days, and Jefferson knew we needed good charts to help ships navigate safely. This important mission is still valid today. The United States is a maritime nation dependent on global trade, and hydrography makes this trade possible. Nations depend on hydrography for more than navigation. The science helps us plan the growing uses of ocean and coastal resources, we use the information to learn about the health of our fisheries. The information helps scientists measure sea level rise and other effects of climate change. But we don't hear much about hydrography. Sometimes I think of it as the hidden science. World Hydrography Day gives us a chance to pause and think about the accomplishments and opportunities in this exciting science. On behalf of NOAA, I want to thank the hydrographers we work with around the world and here at home. These hydrographers provide safe navigation, they support vital coastal communities, and help to protect marine ecosystems. We honor their accomplishments and we thank them for their commitment to surveying the oceans and supporting so many vital social and economic purposes.